Well, hello. Welcome to One Man's Faith today. And my name is Neil Owen. Glad to have you with us. And we're going to look at God's Word again and see what it says and glean from it because, you know, the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. So it's always good to hear the Word of God, to get into it, to learn from it. And that's what, that's what we're about, is having each one of us become a man or a woman of faith. And so, it, and so when you stand in your faith, you're standing by yourself, and that's one man's or one woman's faith. Isn't that something? So today as we start, I want to I look at John 6 and do, do just a little devotional here out of John 6. Now, in John 6, um, Jesus did some things and they wanted to take him and make him king. They were going to, it says they were going to take him by force, verse 15 says in John 6, and make him king. And he slipped away and he got away and the crowds wanted to find him. And so they went over to where Jesus fed the 5,000 looking for him. He wasn't there. So they went to Capernaum, which is really his home, and they found him there. And in verse 27, um, well, let's see, let's go to verse 25. And when they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? And Jesus said to them, truly, I say to you, you seek me, not because you saw signs, but because you ate of the loaves and were filled. Do not work for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to eternal life which the Son of Man shall give you, for on him the Father, even God, has set his seal. And they said, they said therefore to him, What shall we do that we may work the works of God? And Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him who he has sent. In other words, that you believe in him, Jesus, who he, God, has sent. That is, the, that is the work of God, that, that we believe. Believing is a work. Have you ever thought about that? It takes work to believe. Now, it's not the kind of work, you know, physical, hard labor type work, but it's a work, it's a work within you and, and to overcome your thinking and believe. See, believing is not thinking. Believing is doing. Believing is doing. The work is F-A-I-T-H. Faith. Faith and believing are synonymous. And that's what that work is. We've got to learn to walk in faith. Doing, doing a work like miracles or healing or deliverance, takes faith. And that is what we must work at. We must work at faith. You see, our mind doesn't want us to think that way. Our mind is, 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 is natural, where the things of God are supernatural. And so we've got to overcome. It says... Um, um, Paul said, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Our minds have to change. The world says it goes this way. Everything is logical. If you can't see it, then it must not be. Where faith believes in the things that you can't see. Faith is the substance of things hoped for the convictions of things not seen. So it takes work to do that. You know, is God's word true? And you know, anytime you ask, especially a Christian, that they're going to say, well, yeah, it's true. Well, then what are we waiting for? Is God's word true? Does he mean what he says? Or is it just for them 2,000 years ago? Do we not need 
Do we not understand the promises? Can it be that the God who made the universe wants to use me to bring about, bring about a supernatural work that can touch and change another person? You see, it's, it's easy to say, oh, brother, I love you. You know, gosh, you're going through a lot of things. You know, you know, you've got this disease. You know, I'm, you know, I love you. I'm going to pray for you. Is that really love? Or would love be this? Brother, you've got this disease. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I command this disease to leave. Now, to do that requires faith. It requires stepping out on what God tells us. Jesus even said, greater works than these. A lot of religions talk. Christianity does. And, and that, that is learning to work in belief. In other words, to walk in our faith. That's what we need to do. That is why we need to know God's Word and get into it and get it into us. That is what He said and what He said He will do. You see, He, he has said it. It is in His Word. It's, it's promises that He's given us. And we know that His promises are yes and amen. Some people say that they trust in God, but struggle with whether He will actually bring about what He says He will do in His Word. Because we don't, we haven't grasped on to that concept that we've got to walk in faith. You know, there's really only one way to find out, and that is to do it. You know, some people are embarrassed because they say, well, well, if I pray and nothing happens, isn't they going to make God look bad? No. You see, we can't walk in the ifs. We've got to walk in the do's. Step out. Do it. Let's take God at His word. Let's step out and work our faith by believing that what He has said He will do. Isn't that what we're called to do? To work the works of God? Father, show us your ways. Lord, help me to step out and do what you have told me to do. Lord, help my unbelief. Let me read to you. I want to, as I, as, as I continue in this prayer, let me I decree over Pahrump that this city shall be a city of righteousness that honors God in all her ways, a city of hope to all her people and all those who come here, a city of light where darkness finds no room to hide, a city of love that prospers in all her ways, providing prosperity and goodwill to all her people as well as to those surrounding her, and a city of peace to all who dwell here in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for Pahrump. I thank you for the destiny of Pahrump as being the water in the rock, and Jesus is that water. Lord, help us to learn to pour out that water in faith. Lord, may your kingdom come and may your will be done here in Pahrump as it is in heaven. Lord, help us as your people to bind together in unity. Lord, I pray for every church that you would fill every church to overflowing, that, the, our, that our, us as churches would learn to work your works and show forth your love to this community, that there would be more people coming to church than going anywhere else. I pray that, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray you would go out and touch lives today. Lord, as we speak forth, as I speak forth the word of God today, may it bring faith to those who hear. 
God, we love you and we thank you and we praise you and we give you honor and glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, just a couple of announcements. Um, he's going to put one up on the screen here. We're going to have a movie night, August 5th. August 5th, that's a Tuesday night, 7 o'clock. And we're going to be showing the movie Son of God. This comes from the, um, uh, well, kind of comes from the, uh, the, the mini series called The Bible that was on the History Channel a couple of months ago. This is called The Son of God. It's about Jesus. It, it, carries, it carries from really when he starts working um, as the, as the Son of God, you know, on, you know, on to the end and, and even into the resurrection. So if you, it's a good movie to bring a friend. And I would, I would suggest that. Bring somebody who doesn't know the Lord and come Tuesday, August 5th at 7 o'clock for the, for the showing of the Son of God. You won't regret it. And if you haven't seen that movie, it's, 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 uh, it's good, to, it's good in that it gives you uh, a kind of a visualization of, of some of the things that, that he does. Okay, so Tuesday, August 5th, the Son of God. It's free. Come. You can buy popcorn and a drink there and uh, sit and watch. Okay, bless you guys. Uh, we got to take a break and I'll be right back. 